All right, welcome back. Uh, we just got done recording the uh, Pixel 7a review. And uh, I want to do a screen protector install, a glass screen protector install on this device. And then I, uh, after this video, I'm also going to upload a video of two case reviews. Now, I'm doing the screen protector first because I want to see if, like most of y'all, we over here use screen protectors and cases together. And a lot of times screen protectors with a case uh, on your device at the same time, the cases will lift the screen protectors. As you can tell, this, what is this, Tudia? This Tudia case and this Caseology case, the sides, if you can tell right here, actually come up and over the phone and grip the phone like this. So I want to put the screen protector on the device and then do a case review with a screen protector on it so we can tell or see if the case will lift up, will push up on the screen glass screen protector because this one's the same way. It has borders that go up and over the screen just like this. So let's do this install and then I'll do another video a case review. So uh, after you watch this one, Please check that out. Now, I'm going to try to make this quick. Uh, I will link this in the description. This, for the last two years, these have been the very best screen protectors, and I've, we've tried a ton. These have been the best screen protectors over the last two years. Now, this is glass. They have glass for this device because it's a flat display. But I also have this brand on my 7 Pro. 7 Pro has a film as you can tell, you can see it right there. This film, you can't even tell it's on the phone. It feels like glass. You know how some screen protectors are plasticky and it just doesn't feel like glass? This feels like glass. I've, I've been very happy with this. I'm gonna link these in the description. Whatever phone you have, please try this brand out. You will not be disappointed. So, let's see what's in here. I cleaned up, no. Normally, if you've seen other screen protector reviews, I'll tell you to do your install. The secret is, do the install in your bathroom counter. Run the shower, run hot water in your shower. That steam in the shower weighs down all the lint. Here in our room, there's a ton of lint. So, I do have, I think, three or four in here. We're going to get one until it sticks. My wife is sleeping right now, so... Can't go in the bathroom at the moment, but uh, let's give this one a shot. Okay, let's see. We got one, two, three install packs. Four. So we got four screen protectors. Now look, I've told you this in the past. Don't use these. These are trash. Um, we've tried them. We've tested them. These are trash. Okay. Okay. When you take a, now look, this one's got a cutout. It's going to say, oh, it's new and improved. It has a glass cover for the cameras, and it's got a cutout for the uh, flash. In the past, it would be all glass. There would be no cutout. Now, you could see through it for the flash, but the issue is when you took a picture with a flash, the flash would illuminate this whole glass panel, and your sensors at night would have a flash flare to the photo. It would mess up the photo. Now, they tried to combat that by cutting out a cylinder where the flash goes. So when you take a flash, a picture at night with a flash, it won't illuminate the whole panel and or your sensor in the picture. However, if you put this on your device, just like that, you can't use this case. Because, as you can tell, this goes over the bar. It protects the bar. Now, you could get away with using this in the official Google case because it has a cutout all across the back for the whole bar. But if you use a case like this, it does not have a whole cutout. It has a just a cutout where the sensor is. So it's not going to fit on your phone because you're going to have the glass panel pushing up on your case like this when you try and put it on. So I don't use these trash because we we go through cases a lot and from experience we don't use them if you have a good case like this that protects your camera your 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 camera bar you're not going to need this and look go to sophie guard sophie guard website they buy or excuse me we buy they sell stickers see that this is a sticker that goes on your camera bar 
Sophie Guard. They come in all different colors. You can get them crazy colors, colors that match. Um, but this is a sticker that goes across the camera bar. And as you can tell, it lifts up just a little bit, just enough, so your sensor's not going to scratch on the on the on the table, and you'll protect that camera bar. Okay, so let's take these out. Here is you're gonna see it says top, and you're basically gonna turn this phone around. We're gonna clean the glass, put this on the device, and then lay the glass screen protector on there. So got instructions you don't need I mean you probably need to look at the instructions but I'm gonna do it right now right here for you so you know exactly how this works I am what you call a professional uh, with with phones whether it be cases devices themselves screen protectors um, I am classified as a professional okay there's your screen protector keep it in here until you're ready to use it it'll It'll catch lint, it'll catch dust. Now, we do need to figure out where you peel this off at. I think it comes off like that. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna leave it just like this. Face down. Now, first step is to clean off. Clean your fingertips. If you're doing, if you're new to this, use, again, I'm not in my bathroom, Use soap and water with your hands. You do not want any lint to get, or and or dust, or debris to get in between your glass screen protector and your screen because that'll make for a bad install. You'll see air bubbles underneath. Just not good. I'm using alcohol, water, hydrogen peroxide, and dishwashing soap mixture in here that I clean my devices with. I just sprayed my hands with it. So, let's turn this around. Let's open one of these packs. This one will have install pack, wet wipe, alcohol wipe. Microfiber and then this. Let's keep that there. So what we're going to do, I'm going to take this alcohol wipe And we're going to clean the display with it. It's imperative you do this. This it, this stuff really matters. In the past, I would just clean it with myself with a with a paper towel and a spray or Windex or something, and then throw it on there. That does not make for a good seal between the screen protector in the screen of the device you really have to use an alcohol wipe everything they have here use use what they give you now of course you have to clean your fingertips your hands before usage clean your area i sprayed all this down with alcohol before i shot uh, hit record wiped it down blew it off um the less if you prepare very good for this you should have zero issues if you just try and slap it on there you're gonna have issues you're gonna have to redo it if you get it right the first time, it just saves time in the in the long run. So, as you can tell, you want a you want the screen protector to sit perfectly on this display. Okay, so we got alcohol wipes on here. Now we're gonna take the the microfiber, try it off here. Can tell there's a one piece of lint that I'll get with the sticker, and I even I use the sticker even if I don't see with the naked eye any pieces of lint. Just go ahead and use the sticker. Trust me, if you do every step like I'm doing, you shouldn't have any issues. Last thing you want, I'm kind of a neat freak, right? As you all can tell, I don't think I have OCD, but I am a neat freak, and uh, I, want, I just want my stuff to be nice and clean and done right the first time. Okay. So with the sticker, what we're going to do here is simply do this. Watch. Drop it on your screen and do this. It doesn't leave any smudges. As you can tell, there's a lot of static in here. 
as you can tell, it's trying to grip to my to my hand. There's a lot of static in here, so there's going to be lint floating around, getting stuck on stuff. Doesn't leave any smudges on the display, but you're going to need to do this to make for a clean install. Now, let's look and see. Pretty darn good. Okay. Now, this is Gorilla Glass 3 on the 7A. So, they're using older. Now, they did that to save money. So, it scratches easily. You're going to want a screen protector. The new 7 Pros have Gorilla Glass Victus 2, which is, I think it went Gorilla Glass 3, which that has, and then... Four, five, and then I think Gorilla Glass 6 was the Victus, and then Victus 2 would be the 7 series. So this has got a few years old uh, Gorilla Glass on there, which is the company cornering that makes the actual glass display. Not the color display underneath, which is Samsung, but uh, Gorilla Glass makes the actual physical glass on this device. So we'll put it on here. It says top right here. Putting it at the top of the device, you just stick it on there like that. Now, I do see some lint. So here's what we're going to do. Alcohol. Microfiber. Then we'll use the sticker one, hopefully one last time. Just like that. Should be good. Let's see. Yeah, let's give it a shot before we get some more lint on there. All right, so where's it at? Here we go. I'm trying to get the lint off of my hands. The other probably thinking, damn, you're going a little overboard with that, but I know. Yeah, I want a clean install. I don't want to have to do it over. Damn, I see another piece of lint. See, if you do it in the bathroom, it saves you time because there is no lint. When you run the hot water and the steam in your shower, you can do the install with the shower on. I usually run the hot shower for about five minutes with the steam. I'll turn it off, and then I'll do the install. But you can do it with the steam. I just prefer to turn the shower off and then do it. All right, let's give this a shot. See, I can already tell. I literally just got this phone yesterday. And I can tell there's already a tiny little micro scratch on the screen. Right where the time is, it's hard for you to tell, but I can just see it right now. So this screen will scratch easily. Again, it's got three or four year old Gorilla Glass on there. They did that to save money, so can't really blame them, but it is what it is. All right, you ready? I'm going to peel this off and throw it on there. Like so. Line it up on the bottom. It's hard to tell this camera right in front of me. Did it get lined up? It should be. Why is it not sitting down? There we go. Look at that. You see that? Now just leave it alone. What it's doing is it's sitting on the display. So once once you leave it alone, let the screen protector just kind of make its way onto the screen. And once it's done, we will take it off the frame. And then we will see if we can get out any air bubbles. Hopefully there's no lint. As you can tell, there's one up there on the top right. Is that lint? Let's see. Maybe air bubble. Looks like an air bubble. You can normally tell if you hold it real close, 
you can see little micro little fibers underneath in, in that air bubble I do not see any so we should be able to uh, massage that out here now when taking this off you don't want to rip it off you do want to be careful there's been times when I take these off it'll tear the screen protector off so what I do is just simply put your finger right in the middle there and then try and take this cover off just like that there we go put it up inside now did it line up? it did it lined up good you see where the top is? looks like there's a lot of room for screen I mean for cases which is good um looks like there's a lot of room so it should not have any problem now you see those air bubbles let's let's get them out they'll go away but now what you can do is get a credit card i normally get the microfiber always massage it outwards you want to massage it out from the center out so like this way this way this way this way this way um it just sits the the glass on top of the phone display perfectly so what i'll note now Normally these come with like a little uh, rubber squeegee. I don't see any that came in the case. What I'm going to do is grab my wallet and get like a credit card. Normally what you can do, credit card. And now you don't want to obviously scratch it. So what I'll do is I will get one of the, one side fold it over like that on the just like this then you can kind of massage it out see the air bubbles went away on the bottom massage it out there they go they're going away you see there's some up top see it right there in the reflection watch do it from the inside out and it will it'll sit so Give your screen protector usually about 24 hours and it'll sit on your display perfectly. If you do it just right, no air bubbles. Or even if you do, look, even if you do have a bubble or two I see up here that you can't massage out, um, they'll go away. They will go away. Just got to give it 24 hours. It'll sit on your display perfectly because it almost seems like there's a gel Um in between the screen protector and the display how you kind of saw it saw it liquefy out but there is no gel but that's glass perfectly sitting on top of glass you will get that effect now you see there's a little air pocket up there you can usually massage that out everything else looks good so what we'll do is we'll just try to Massage them out, make it make sure it sits right on top there. Look at that, they went away. So that's a perfect install. <laughs> See, how you, spending a few extra minutes doing what I do as far as getting it, everything just right, making sure you get all the dust off, making sure you're using the alcohol wipe, making sure you're using the uh, microfiber cloth, making sure you're using the sticker. Um, thanks for you. Look at that. Perfect install. Sweet. Cool. So, this came out perfect. Um, I'm going to do a case review to see if, put this to the test to see if this can be used with cases without the cases pushing up on the screen protector and lifting it up. So, this um, was a perfect, perfect install on the Google Pixel 7a. I'm going to link this. Again, I highly recommend this. They're not even that expensive. It's a no-name brand. Again, I've been using it for a couple years. They make perfect screen protectors. Check this out. This is their glass version on the 7A. This is their film on the 7 Pro. So, I will link uh, uh, in the description. If you have the 7A, go get these screen protectors. They're really thin. It feels really good. So, Let's look at it real quick, real fast. Look how much it sits up on top. Damn, my allergies are horrible today. Can you tell it's sitting up? A little bit, but look, once you put a case on there, you're not, it's going to just look like it's part of the phone. So it gives enough room so you can put a case on there. Cases should be fine, but check out my video, my other video, and we'll put them to the test. 
doesn't lift too much up top of off the screen. Obviously, you can tell there's one on there, but trust me, you're going to want to protect this phone. It has Gorilla Glass 3 underneath, again, which scratches. Oh, and look, you can't even tell that uh, the display was scratched. Because the scratch, the little micro scratch was like right here. I think my wife had this in her purse yesterday. It was right here. And the screen protector got rid of it. Can't even tell. So, you're definitely going to want to put a screen protector on this. And glass. I would go with glass. Uh, fingerprint sensor should work. Uh, the glass ones we've used in the past from this company never had an issue with our fingerprint scanner on the film or on glass. So, um... I think my wife said hers, but again, like again, like I said, she's sleeping, so uh, we'll test it out. If I do have an issue with it, I'll let y'all know, but every screen protector I've used from this company in the past never had an issue with a, uh, a fingerprint sensor. I would recommend you setting it up, setting your fingerprint sensor up after you install this. So install the screen protector first, and then set up your fingerprint on this phone, and it, it should be fine. It should be fine either way, but... I just prefer to do it after I put the screen protector on it. So, all right, y'all, uh, check out the uh, link in the description and uh, look for those case reviews I'm going to do right now. Peace.